all right so today i want to teach you how to properly set up your photoshop interface to help you work more faster and conveniently let me open up a document so we can get the full interface view so if you've just installed photoshop and you open up any document this is the first view of everything that you see this is how it is by default and that's because the workspace is on essentials so if you change the workspace to 3d you will get something like this so motion you get this timeline down here if you change to motion workspace and if you change to painting you get this change to photography you get this graphics and web you get this so depending on the workspace you choose you get a different view of things and you have the option to customize your workspace to best suit whatever you're doing and help you work more conveniently so i'm just going to show you how i like my own workspace to look let's get rid of this one we don't need colors let's get rid of gradients we don't need it get rid of patterns we need history if you don't find it here come to windows you see it here so once you turn it on to appear here so you can drag it in here we don't need comments so what we'll do we'll close this one properties we need properties so we're just gonna drag it in here we don't need libraries and adjustments we don't necessarily need them all the time so we're just going to leave only the things we need more frequently so let's close this group all right so the channels we don't need channels we are closing it parts we don't need parts so is either you right click and close tab and close here don't close this if you close this it closes the whole group that means it closes this and this together but if you close just click close it just deletes the one that is currently on so we are leaving these layers here so let's move the layers now we need the layers only the layers to be here to take up this whole space so drag just the layer paste it there so let's turn on characters from windows come to characters and then drag it and place it up here you can close this group this history let's bring it down here to this button always drag it you see this blue line here whenever you're placing any element check for the blue line once the blue line appears it means you can drop it there so we want to drop it down here so now we have two columns so let's bring the rest of the things let's bring styles and let's arrange it because we need the history to take up more space these ones are usually just short so let's bring our shape So here you have it, you have your history, shape, swatches, properties, character, let's keep character first, then the styles should stay the same place with the history and shapes. So we'll have three up, three down. So now we have our work space set up, make this small thumbnails, small thumbnail. now for layers as you can see you can hardly tell what this thumbnail is trying to show you because it's too far away it's showing you the full canvas in each thumbnail to correct that come to panel options then you cho choose layer bound every other thing you can leave it as it is we can tell this is the young lady yeah because it's showing there so if you notice when you pick when you select something it's not showing you any indication that that thing is selected that's because show transform controls are off check this box to show it so now you can easily select any layer and it shows that uh, control so now we have everything set up the way we want let's save our workspace so anytime you close photoshop and open it it remains exactly the same it doesn't change let's choose new workspace you can name it whatever you want to name it let's name this and save so now whenever we shut down photoshop and reopen it the design is always going to be there 
for you to choose the workstation and if we choose other workstation and we don't like it we can go back to what we've arranged and if our venture we scatter we scatter the workstation and we want to reset it to look exactly how it was when we saved it you just come to reset set design and it just rearranges everything for you so now we're done with the workspace let's go to settings and set them up the general settings check this check this everything else in general should remain the same come to interface use the darker the darkest one you can use none for all this you don't need it then for the ui font size use tiny scale it show channels for color so your interface should look exactly like this come to workspace auto collapse auto show auto show hidden yes yes then this one uncheck this enable narrow option bar the workspace should look exactly like this uncheck over scroll check this one check this let's go to history so check this five minutes automatically saves every five minutes in case uh, your photoshop crashes it saves more frequently enable legacy legacy save us yes use uppercase check this put it at always and leave this at 20. so come to exports So we're done with the exports. Come to performance, history states, you can a 150. Everything else is okay the way they are. Come to scratch this, leave it the way it is. There's, um, there's nothing we're changing here. to type and check this and check this and increase this to 50 and to 3d put it at large come to your house maybe the way it is check this check this and we are done everything else will be left the way they are so okay we are done for now if you have any custom style that you want to import you can import it here so this is photoshop 2023 let's import these styles you can delete the default ones if you don't need it i don't these are the diff the imported styles so let's import the swatches these ones are the default ones Let's import our shapes. And we are good. Now let's, after you've imported all these custom styles and shapes and colors, you will still have to save your workspace again. So 
it will always remain there whenever you pump so let's save it again replace so whenever we go and come back it will always remain like this all right so we are done for today thanks for watching bye